Well, hey guys, Cannon here. Oh uh, no, I'm just kidding. Um, well, anyways, Cannon here. I'm gonna bring you a tutorial today on some uh, decent color correction. Actually, it's probably really bad, but anyway, um, some color correction and After Effects. So let's go ahead and get started. First thing you're gonna do is add all of these, cause I'm not gonna show you how to do that, cause you should know how to do that. Um, curves, hue and saturation, levels, exposure, and CC toner. Um, something I already did that you should do if you don't, um, this will be at 100 by default and if you do that, you'll see that there's these black lines and that looks like crap. So go ahead and scale that up by 101 and they're gone. Imagine that. On curves, go to red, bring up the red, bring up the green, bring up bring down the blue. I don't like a cooler look for After Effects. I like a warmer look, or not After Effects, for Reach. I think warmer looks better. Um, that looks good right there. Next thing we're going to do is bring down the saturation. You can do this anywhere from 15 to 25. I really wouldn't go too much past 25. It's really up to you. It depends on if you're going for a certain look, then by all means do it. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and go by 20. Um, after saturation so this is called a histogram um this is going to have different peaks for each of the different color values so shadows and highlights um we're gonna bring see there's a peak right there i'm not worried about that little peak um i don't think anything will get washed out too much but what you're going to want to do is there's you're going to have your highlight slider bring that all the way till it starts to rise at that peak and then the same goes for the shadows and then your midtones, do whatever you really want. There's no really set thing that you want to do with these. So if you want to darken your clip a little bit, bring that down. We're starting to look good. Next thing, we're going to go ahead. We're going to bring up our exposure by about 0.2. Use this lightly. Um, it does something similar that uh, Levels does. But it darkens the clip a little bit better, I think. Adds a little bit more contrast. We're looking good. Toner. Go ahead and turn on your toner. Go to 85, that's what I do. Um, try whatever you want. I don't know, don't overuse this effect. It, it just, it, I don't know, don't do too much. A little tacky. Um, something you always want to do uh, after you do color correction, solo the layer or turn off the layer or whatever. Uh, look how nice that looks. It's just gorgeous. It's just gorgeous. Would you look at it? Um, anyway, uh, yeah, so, um, next thing we'll do is we'll go ahead and add a vignette, um, this is, we're gonna go ahead and hit control Y, bring up a new solid, uh, go ahead and double click on your clips tool, um, subtract, hit MM, that'll bring up all your mask properties, go ahead and bring up the mask feather to about 250, and then a mask expansion by about... 70 80 looks good uh, turn that on and off on and off adds a little nice turn off looks nice especially right up here with some things were getting washed out um we kind of toned it down a little bit it looks good uh, we'll turn that off another thing you can do is go ahead and add light or layer new light uh, hit okay You'll need to turn on uh, everything, the 3D layer for the light to actually work. And then bring that out. And that'll give it kind of like a nice cinematic feel. And then just play with the positioning of the light. Uh, I think that actually looks a little bit better than the uh, solid kind of. Yeah, it looks better. Um, another thing you can do, go ahead and hit Control y again, make a new solid. Uh, go ahead and add optical flares to this options clear all yes lens object add a glow okay um, on transparent bring this down scale that up to about that looks good bring this up that looks nice um even go in here, uh, try to be a little softer for me. See how that looks. Yeah, that's kind of overwhelming. Um, turn on the brightness a little bit. 
use that sparingly. You can really wash out your clips with it. Um, wow, that's even too much. Damn it, go to 50. All right, um, take that. That looks really nice right there. It just kind of gives it a little bit of a softer feel. Um, and that's pretty much it for the color correction. You know what? We're going to do one more thing. We're going to go ahead and add a glow to uh, our adjustment layer. Um, take the threat or the glow radius up to like two something. It depends on the mat. Um, and that's something else you need to understand is that when you're doing this, all this color correction stuff, everything's going to be different for the different maps. Um, if you bring down, what happens when you do this? Let's see that looks really nice. All right. Um, well, I think that's all for today, folks. Um, I hope you enjoyed this. I hope it helps you out with your videos. Um, thank you for watching. Please go ahead and subscribe. Um, it means the world to me. Uh, well, thank you much, and uh, have a great afternoon, day, evening, whatever part of the world you're in.